Hey, what's up guys? It's Jacob from wikijackson.com and today we have a PHP tutorial for you. Okay guys, so in this tutorial we'll show you how to make a color viewing PHP application such as something like this. Now I'm running this uh, page on a testing server using uh, MAMP uh, for Mac and so you can see that's why it says test up here. I just define that as the root directory to go to for this. So this isn't actually uploaded to a server, I'm just using a PHP enabled local server. Also if you want to know what MAMP is, we did a tutorial a while back, it's in the Dreamweaver tutorial series, and you can go ahead and check out the first or second one, I can't remember right now, but one of those two videos shows you how to set up a MAMP server, uh, just like this one. Okay guys, so you can see we have a header right here inside this uh, online application, and it says enter your hexadecimal code below and see what color it is and uh, disregard the question mark, it's not supposed to be there. But um, basically, this uh, box will change colors to whatever color you put in here and press get that color. So we'll just put in a simple color such as pound DDD. Now note this is that this is using colors uh, from CSS. So basically any color that you could successfully put in a CSS file or just any styling at all uh, using CSS3, uh, that color will work for this and you'll see why soon. Basically, you could either use the three letter shortened version of the hex decimals or you can use the full version such as that and if we click get that color uh, that little text that you just saw went away and it will fill in with whatever whatever color you defined it as so let's go ahead and refresh the page and I'll show you the shortened form and show you that it works just the same and we'll refresh it one more time cancel we'll refresh it one more time and I'll show you what happens if you put in something random It'll just say, I don't know that color, try another one, as it does in the beginning of this application. Now there are methods uh, to make it so to where that doesn't show up uh, right when you load the, the page, but this is a simple PHP tutorial, so we won't be worrying with, about that today. Also, just note, uh, when you have a color put in, such as that, you can also put in some random garbage, and it'll transfer back to that text. And I'll explain this all more in the code later. Okay guys, so switching over to the code, this is what the final product will look like. Uh, basically we have a very small amount of PHP uh, showing up right here and inside here a little bit. And you can see all we're basically doing is taking the value of whatever we put in that text field uh, and we're going to post it to the same page. So when you hit submit, it doesn't take you to any other pages. It just goes back into this page and loads this up. And then whatever value you put in will be used in the style tag in this div right here. So uh, if you know what you're doing, you can just go ahead and pause the video right here and maybe copy some of the code. Or maybe you just know the method and you can do it on your own. But this tutorial will show you how to do it from scratch. So I have another file open right here. And we're just going to put in the essentials real quick. Okay guys, so now that we have the essential HTML5 page set up, we're just going to put a style tag inside the head document. And now you could uh, use an external style sheet if you would like, but we're just going to make one in the head document since this is a simple quick tutorial. Now in the body tag, we're going to fill in the HTML that we had in before. We're going to leave out the header because it's not really necessary, but we're going to need a div with an ID of, well, will just say color. And... We're going to have some style in here, some inline style, and we'll fill that in later. And we'll close off the div right here. And we'll put a break after it, like that. So next, we're going to need to open up a new form, like that. We'll put in some space right there. And inside the form tag, we're going to define an action of this uh, document, which is called colorviewer.php like that and we're also going to need to define a method of get and I forgot off the M right there nope there we go method of get so now that our form is set up we can go ahead and put in the input field and the submit button as we did before so we're going to open up a new input tag and the type is going to be text as it was before we're going to have a name of color as it was in the PHP document before. And we're also going to add in a placeholder to let our user know what to put in here. And we had pound and then six X's like that. And then like that. 
So now we have the text field set up and we're also going to add in the submit button. It's going to be input with a type of submit and we'll give it a value of send or get that color as we had it in the example and we'll close that off. So we're just going to save this and view it in the browser real quick. So now this was the page that we already had set up and uh, we're going to now switch to the page that we were on just working on which is color viewer uh, rather than color chooser and I accidentally put on two PHPs and I forgot off the R on color there we go so now you can see we have the input field and the get that color button which just sends it up like this and I'm now noticing that I put a method of uh, get right there we need a method of post actually I'm just now noticing that but uh, we will fix that later and you can't see it but the div is actually right there but you can't see it because obviously there's no width height or background color set to it and there's nothing in it so we obviously just have the bare bones still up right now okay so as we notice in the example we need to change the get method to post like that and now the form is successfully done so inside the div that we set we're going to use the text that we had before which was I don't know that color try another one so we'll copy that and paste it inside the div and we're going to style uh, the color of this text and also the background color of this div so in the inline styling we're going to set a background color uh, it looks like I spelled that right and then we'll just set it to something like that for now and a semicolon and we're going to do normal color and we'll set it to the same thing and another semicolon so we'll just view what that looks like real quick if we hit refresh uh, alright so that showed up but the coloring isn't working uh, ah I spelled style wrong there we go now if we save it and view it refresh now it should work and you can see the text is still there but obviously it's the same color as the background and that's how we achieved the text of disappearing when uh, the color came up and it came back once you entered an unknown color so now we're going to style the div to be the correct width and height so we're going to say we gave it a an ID of color so it's going to be pound color and then the width will be and I spelled that wrong the width will be uh, 350 pixels and the height will also be 350 pixels so we have a square uh, we'll set a border a uh, solid border of black so pound 000 and we'll make it 5 pixels uh, wide and the last thing we have to do is nothing that is good right there so another thing that we have to do is uh, style the ID of color, the div that we set, and P, which is going to be the text that's inside it. And we're going to give it a line height of 350 pixels, so it centers. And also one thing more we need to do in the color ID, we're going to need to add a text line like that of center, so the entire text is centered. If we save that and go back into Chrome and refresh, uh, you can't see the text obviously, but should be oh oh that's why we have to add in the paragraph tag right here so that the styling knows what to target like that. Now if we save and come back into Chrome, the text will be centered right there. So now that the div is set up, all we have to do is the PHP coding for this, which is very simple as I showed you before. Okay, so at the very beginning of your document, we're going to set up the PHP tags, which is just an open caret, uh, question mark, PHP, come down a few lines, put another question mark, and then close it off. So inside here, we're just going to define a new variable, and we call it, we'll call it color, as we did before. And we're going to set it equal to dollar sign, underscore, post, and it was color, I believe was the name of that down here yes the name was color so basically what we're doing is we're setting a new uh, variable up here and basically it's just going to be uh, when this page is run again whatever is posted from this uh, input which is down here the name of color so basically that's just going to get posted to that and it's going to be used in the variable of color 
we're now going to use the variable of color down here. So basically we're going to open up our PHP again and then close it off like that. And then in here we're just going to say echo and then dollar sign color, which will just echo out that variable that we did before. So now what's happening is whatever gets put into here and then you click submit, uh, it will post it back to this page again and this variable right here will get the value of whatever is in there and that's going to restyle this to uh, and obviously I'm using the echo function so whatever value is in here is just going to be put in place of the actual color value that you would put so we're just going to copy this and put it as the color also and now all of the coding is basically done let's come back into the browser and run it again so let me just get rid of this color at the end because we changed that uh, method to post now. So now when you load it up, it says, I don't know that color, try another one. Like I said, there are methods to get rid of that, but this is a simple tutorial. So now if we put in a color such as DDD, DDD, and click get that color, it will change both the text and the background color to that. So it looks like the text disappears even though it's actually there. And then if we post in something random and click it, it'll say, I don't know that color. Try another one. So thank you for watching this PHP tutorial. Uh, be sure to like this video if you want to see more of these in the future. Also, be sure to leave comments down below in the more info section if you have any questions on this method or uh, you, any questions regarding wikijackson.com. Also, be sure to visit wikijackson.com for more information on this tutorial. And be sure to visit WikiJackson's new, brand new computer page, which we completely redid to make it easier for you guys to pick out a brand new custom computer built by us. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.